I'm Ann Christine Dedeski, and I'm a longtime AIDS activist as well as a journalist. And I'm working now with a group called Act Up Against Ebola, veteran Act Up treatment activists who are responding to this new epidemic that is frightening Americans. We've seen headlines all over the past two weeks of this incredible hysteria, calls for medical, I mean, mandatory quarantine by the governors of New York and New Jersey, now Florida. And it's because the message around Ebola has been in, 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 inadequate. Really, the science is there, and it tells us that somebody who does not have any symptoms of Ebola cannot transmit this virus. So medical, uh, excuse me, mandatory quarantine is not the policy that we should be supporting. And over the last couple of days, this particular group I've been working with, Act Up Against Ebola, has gathered over 110 signatures of high-level public health officials in the United States, the NIH, at the UN, the Ebola response, all saying the same thing. Our response needs to be based on sane, responsible science. And that calls for active monitoring of individuals who have been at risk in the sense that they're treating somebody who is sick. If you've not been in contact with someone who is sick, your risk of exposure is very, very minimal. We can't say not, you know, it doesn't exist because science doesn't like to say that. But the bottom line is that we know that Ebola is a virus that's transmitted by direct contact of the bodily fluids of someone who is sick. So to quarantine automatically people who are coming back from a flight from West Africa is bad science, it's bad health policy, and it's going to drive this epidemic underground. AIDS activists are calling for governors, for mayors, for cities, for hospitals to adopt a sane health policy to follow the CDC guidelines that call for active monitoring, not for mandatory quarantine. And I think the other message is we want to stand in solidarity with West Africa. We want to engage the United States and community here to say we have an opportunity to help. So the message should be, we need public education in the United States for Ebola. It needs to be based not on misinformation, on correct information. And I think personally, we all should be treating and celebrating these healthcare workers who are doing an incredibly brave thing to go to these regions which desperately need our help and their professional you know, experience and attention and are doing something that essentially is to save all of us or to protect all of us. So bottom line, not mandatory quarantine. And I think that we are going to get there and certainly act up against Ebola and across communities, faith communities, unions, nurses. Many people are saying the same thing. So are our leading public health officials. And that's where I think we should be putting the national response. And I think for us, it's you know, an act up. It's act up, fight back, fight Ebola, and draw from the lessons of the AIDS movement. So for us, the lesson is we need to be speaking across communities. We need to be speaking in a compassionate way. We need to be basing our response on science. And at the community level, we have tremendous experience. So I hope that we'll bring it now forward and we'll address misinformation and public fears and stigma.